Have you ever wished that you could instantly locate photos of specific people in your XIR catalog? In other words, images containing a specific family member, a friend, a photo shoot client, or a colleague? In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can do exactly that using XIR's People Search tool. Now, this People Search tool leverages cutting edge facial recognition technology so you can rapidly retrieve images that contain a specified face. And since XIR works locally on your computer, you don't have to worry about a third party accessing your photos or your data. Everything is completely private. And in XIR Photo 2025, I'm excited to share with you several handy new features for identifying and tagging people so you can easily group photos that contain specific people and then find them again later. Now, to use this tool, you're going to need an initial reference image so XIR understands who you're searching for. So here I'm going to start with this image, this woman in a red dress. I know there are other images of this woman in my catalog, but I'm not sure exactly where they're located and I want to see all of them. So to use the Find People tool, you're going to need to start by selecting the photo that you want to use as your reference image. And then you can choose to come up here and click the Find People icon, or this is even easier, you can just press this little Find People icon in the upper right hand corner of the individual thumbnails. So you go ahead and you click that, and then you'll see the Find People dialog box, which has your reference image. And the subject's face should be indicated within this box here. Now, when you're searching for photos of a specific person, you can choose to filter based on various features. So you can say you only want images where the person is smiling or where they have their eyes open. You can also filter by keywords and you can tell Xire to look for photos of that person that aren't tagged with specific keywords. And that can be useful when looking for photos in your collection that haven't yet been tagged with a name, which I'll talk about in a second, and that you want to find so that you can then tag them. Now, you can even specify a distance limit here. So you can tell XIR whether you want the program to look for faces that are exactly like the one in the reference image by moving the slider in this direction, or whether you want the program to be broader in its search. So then you would, you would choose a, a loose distance limit. I'm just gonna go back and reset this. I can also choose to increase the maximum amount of results I want XIR to show me. Um, so if I had tons of images of this person in my catalog, I might want to bump this up, but for now I'm just going to leave it at 100. And I want to tell Xire where the program should search. In my case, I'm going to search in the whole database, but I could look in the current view or in specific folders or collections. So here we go. I'm going to start my search. And then as you can see, Xire did a great job of returning dozens of images of this woman in different outfits and poses. And that's exactly what I wanted. But here's the thing, no facial recognition software is perfect. So what if I wanna quickly identify which photos actually feature the person that I'm looking for? And what if I want to store all those images that I have of a specific person in a single collection so that I can see them later on? Well, that's where our new tools come in handy. On the right hand side, we have this faces tab. And here you can actually tell XIR to zoom in on all the faces so you can clearly see which face an image contains. So if I toggle this on, the faces are zoomed in and you can check and say, okay, is that the person that I'm looking for? I also have the option to toggle this zoom faces on hover feature. So then the faces don't automatically zoom in unless I hover my cursor over the images, in which case you then see the magnified image. And when you select an image, you're going to actually see the face appear on the right hand side. If an image has multiple faces, you'll see all of the faces that XIR identifies on the right hand side. And what's really cool is that you can add names. So I could select all of these images. And then I can say that these are images of Trish. And I go ahead and hit the enter key. And now over here, you'll see 
my selected Trish images have appeared in this automatic people collection. And that can just be really cool for sorting images of people and making sure that they're always up to date, that my collections are always tagged as I want them to be. I also want to mention, so when you have images that have multiple people in them, that can be kind of tricky when it comes to name tagging and that sort of thing. Because how do you tag an image with a single name when there are multiple people in the image? So Axire actually has these cool provisions for handling images that feature multiple people. So say that I come here and I have some group photos. So you can see these images all contain more than one person. Like this image, for instance, contains two people. You can see both of their faces on the right-hand side, so I could actually name them separately if I wanted to. Um, unfortunately, because there are multiple people, the zoom faces on hover feature isn't going to work because Xire doesn't know which face to zoom in on. But there's a cool trick for quickly looking and identifying which faces are included in the photos just for quickly zooming in. That's if I click here. So I'm going to go into this image. You can see both of the faces are highlighted, but if I hold the Alt key or the Option key on Mac, on a Mac, and then I press the arrow keys, I can actually quickly just flip through and look and see which of these faces are actually contained and even whether or not they're sharp. So I'm going to hit G to go back to the gallery view. And I just want to emphasize how useful this is for just quickly going through, for tagging people's faces, and for ensuring that your collections are always up to date. I really think if you haven't tried Xire Photo 2025, if you haven't spent some time tagging people, it's a lot of fun and you're really going to enjoy how easy this makes things. So give it a shot. Thanks so much for watching and have fun.